Python coding framework creating an add-on. Take a look at how simple it is to create your own add-on. No previous coding experience is required. Now, we um, previously uh, it's it's come to our attention, to be fair, after doing series one of the Python coding tutorials, that there's a lot of things uh, that could be made so much easier. So I figured it was time to create a uh, kind of framework uh, for up and coming developers to work off. There's already some really good ones out there, you know, like the uh, com common uh, module that you can import. There's some great stuff in there. There's, well, there's lots of different modules out there that you can use. Um, and I'm all for, uh, you know, making things a little easier on ourselves. Um, it's no point reinventing the wheel over and over. So, uh, but uh, yeah, I thought it was time for an update and um, hopefully uh, this will uh, get you up and running in no time. Like I say, no coding experience is required. It's handy if you've got a rough idea of uh, what certain things do. Um, I would still recommend watching that first series of Python coding, uh, certainly the first couple of episodes, um, if you get time because that will give you just a rough insight into how the basic basic stuff works but um but yeah with this with just a few lines of code you can have a really really good add-on up and running and uh hopefully uh you enjoy it as much as i've enjoyed uh, creating the framework right so head on over to totalrevolution.tv one word and um, you'll see a page similar to this. Now on the left hand side is TRMC which is our commercial uh, solution. Um, you can see there uh, it's uh, you know it's got a whole host of features. Uh, that's not actually what you're after. You're after the tutorial side but uh, as I'm here I might as well quickly plug it. Uh, for any people out there selling uh, devices and they want their own bespoke setup, um, be able to target individual units, um, do maintenance on the fly uh, to individual units and send advertising things things like that um, then this could well be for you um, it's uh, developed by a team with uh, decades of Kodi experience between them and uh, the project's been going since uh, start of 2015 so uh, uh, very very active project um, if you're after commercial solutions but what you're after is the coding uh, Python coding tutorial section. Now, in here, uh, we've got uh, details of the add-on creator, uh, Python coding original tutorials details there, and uh, some uh, just a backstory of what the Python coding framework's all about. So, this is what we're after. We're after the add-on creator. So, click on that, and then what you're going to need to do is just fill out a few little bits and pieces in here. It's only one form. Simple to do. Uh, so I'll just try with a uh, an ID that I know already exists. So you can see how this acts. So if we tried to create one for YouTube, what would happen is it checks against the add-on portal on Noobs and Nerds and it says, look, it's already in use you can't use it. Uh, if you want to find out details of that add-on you can click there and it'll take you to that page. Uh, so that's really useful because the last thing you want to do is pick an add-on ID that's already in use. Uh, as I do this video there's currently over 7,000 unique add-on IDs in use scanned to the add-on portal so it's an easy mistake to do to pick one that's um, already in use. So even if you don't want to use this framework uh, it might be worth you popping over here just to check and see if that add-on ID you want to use uh, is available. Right, so let's go back then. We'll change that to testing. Um, and we just call this uh, my test add-on. I'm going to put my name. Um, short test add-on. Uh, so the add-on summary is just a quick little one-liner that appears in Kodi at the top of your description and the actual description uh, this can be you know as long as you want it's uh, the full details of what the add-on is all about so this is my add-on using the Python coding framework now here we go we've got some tick boxes here so the content type uh, you can tick all the ones that apply, but this is what it's going to appear in in Kodi. So the sections it will appear in, uh, obviously, 
try and pick the ones that are relevant to your particular add-on. If it's a video add-on, choose video. If it's uh, if it also offers audio, then obviously you can tick audio and pictures as well. If it offers pictures, please don't go ticking all of them just so that your add-on appears in every section. Um, that can get extremely annoying um, when you're trying to look through your add-ons and you see ones that have no relevance to the section you're in at all. Uh, but you can tick as many of those as you want. So I'm going to say this one's a, a video and a program add-on. Um, now platform specific 99.9% .9 of you are going to just need the all ticked um, means it's universal works on every platform or should do roughly uh, if it's specific to a particular platform you can limit it so it only installs on that platform so Android for example or Linux um, even XBMC for Xbox uh, you can tick uh, whichever ones but we're going to go for all um, and yeah, I mean, the vast majority of add-ons will work on all of them, with the exception of XBMC for Xbox, but that's a completely different entity anyway. Um, now, genre. Just tick the ones that apply. Again, don't go ticking all of them, because this is here to help people in the community. This is help to help users find your add-on, to find something uh, appropriate to them. So if it you know, if it's a comedy based add on, tick that, and maybe it also provides um, uh, what would it uh, comedy? It might also do audio books, maybe something like that, and podcasts. And let's say uh, we're only doing this add on for sort of UK, USA type uh, speaking people, this is the language country specific. Um, although maybe we've got a section in there as well for German so we tick that then what we do we click submit and that is it job done your add-on has now been created uh, there's some important information you need to read there about um, this does rely on the Python coding framework um, script module Python coding AIO which is hosted on the noobs and nerds repo and there's also details there frequently asked questions of why it's on that particular repo it's all explained in there I'm not going to go over it right now uh, and all you do is click there to download your add-on now let me go back and just show you one other feature this has let's say I um, uh, I'll tell you what let's do a fresh one uh, testing so I'm going to call it the same one that I've just called that one um, that one we know is not on the add-on portal so it is fine to use but I think this is quite a useful feature if we click submit it will give a warning message to say this add-on ID has been created by another author uh, another user in the past uh, whilst it's not been found on the add-on portal there's a chance someone else may be already working with this ID which we know is the case so if you get a warning message like that it, you know it may be it's never released um, or it may be that you know you you and someone else are working on this exact same ID so you might want to pick a different one um, okay so that's that section now what we need to do is uh, head on over to Cody so in Cody you can see here I'm using version 17 which is Krypton um, it should work on all versions but um, yeah it's been tested on the versions uh, prior to that sort of from Helix uh, onwards uh, but um, your skin may look slightly different you know depending on what skin you're running but in here what we need to do is go down to add-ons and click on the little package icon and uh, let's do install from zip and it'll ask you to go to the settings uh, because as of Krypton you need to enable the third party option at the unknown sources so tick that click yes come back out and then if we go into our settings at the top there uh, we want file manager add source click on none and type in http colon slash slash noobs and nerds.com slash portal and you can call it whatever you like I'm just going to stick with portal click OK come back out come all the way back out go down to your add-ons click on your little uh, package icon 
install from zip, portal, and you want the noobs and nerds repo. So it's very important that you install this first um, before trying to install the add-on. The add-on requires um, dependencies which are hosted on there, so unless you have that installed, it's not going to work. Um, and then we do install from zip again, and we just find our download. Uh, there we go, plugin video testing. So you click on that, and you'll notice the dependencies start to install. So it's currently installing ones from uh, the official repo, then it picks up ones from the NAN repo. And my test add-on is installed. So you can see, there it is. Um, it appears in video, and it should also be in programs, which it is. Um, so if we go into video add-ons, we can click on that, and you'll be able to see that what we've got in here is um, this is a good place to start the coding tutorials. Uh, this will show you um, all the different functions that are currently available, and it's dynamic. So as it's updated, uh, you'll see more, more and more functions appear in here, and more videos uh, and things like that. So you know, for example, how to add a directory. You can click on it, and you you can watch a video or view the documentation. Uh, I mean, some of them, um, a lot of them, to be honest, will have examples that you can do as well. So you've got your documentation there. So that tells you, and at the bottom you can see the example code that we're going to use. So if we come out there, click on it again. If you run the example code, there you go. It says current text, and then and then it does whatever it's going to do. If it capitalizes it and um, changes colors. Um, but yeah, lots of functions there for you to uh, be getting on with. And uh, the link at the top is is the link to this video. So if you want to watch it in Coda, you can. Um, and let's just quickly, very very briefly, uh, go. Oops, sorry. Go into our Kodi folder, which is. Uh, let me try and find it. Add-ons. And we should be able to see our plugin video testing is what we called it. Um, there, sorry, I'm going blind. Uh, right in front, I'm making them see it. And the default PY. Now, I would recommend installing Sublime Text Editor. It's free. It's great. Um, install that. Uh, you can use Notepad Plus Plus, which is also good. But uh, I find Sublime a lot easier on the eyes, and it. it it's, um, it just formats everything really nicely. So I'm going to open that in Sublime. And uh, and this is where you want to start, really. Um, it's got all these sections, all these comments in here. So read through the comments. Do not skip them. Read through them. them Because they give you little, some of them give you examples of things to try. Um, and you'll see your add-on uh, start to take shape. So, you know, you've got things down here like the add directories for the main menu, and you can add new things and get video playback working and stuff like that. And it tells you exactly what each section does. So, um, yeah, go through that, have fun. If you have any questions, please use the uh, forum at noobsandnerds.com. That's where uh, we'll be doing the support for this. Um, it's really not worth leaving messages on the YouTube because it's not monitored. Uh, your question may well go unanswered um, for months um, or yeah certainly weeks so uh, yeah head over to the forum where you'll get uh, almost instant replies and, um, and that's a you know proper outlet for uh, where we can give proper proper advice uh, with proper code snippets and things like that okay uh, yeah thanks for watching and uh, hopefully catch up soon